Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Business Talk with Ivan. Today I am joined by Windell, who lives in London here in the UK. Hello Windell, how are you? Hello Ivan, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Did I pronounce your name right? Is it, is it Windell or Windle or how, how do you pronounce your name? It's okay, so long that I understand it, it's Windell. <laughs> Windell, right, okay. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, welcome, thank you for coming. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, staying at home? <laughs> yes, like us all, yes. I know, it's getting a bit, it's getting a bit much now. I think we're all ready to uh, get out and re yes, re figure out, reintroduce ourselves to normal life if we can, aren't we, to be fair? That's true, yes. We're yeah. looking forward for that sort of normalcy. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be a very different kind of normal, but I'm hoping that normal will definitely come. So that's good, I yeah. think, you know. Absolutely. Well, you know, what I say when someone says this to me is, what a perfect time to be starting in, in having a digital business. You know, we run this from home. And where's everyone been for the past few months? At home. <laughs> you know, it's incredible, really isn't it? Great. Yeah. <laughs> really is, really is. So yeah, so I'm, I'm really keen to hear your story. Um, you know, I, as you've seen, I do lots of these interviews and I just love hearing people's stories and journeys and just, just why they felt that starting a digital business was right for them and, and how they found that process really. So, you know, my first question for you is what, what were you doing before you even thought about doing this digital business? What was your life like before? Um, I, um, I'm working a, in a recruitment company with a partner okay. and during that time I was um, on the process as well of an additional business but um, I would like to do something beyond my comfort zone because I'm used to a traditional one so I said um, I need to learn the online business but I don't know where to start okay. so basically when I found something online I did not hesitate. I just register, and that's it. <laughs> wow. Okay. And so, and so, you, you live in London, and so, and where are you from originally? I originally come from the Philippines. Okay. Yeah, and okay. I'm a nurse by background as well. So, okay. yeah. Um, how long have you been in the UK? Way? Yes. How long, how long have you been in the UK for? I've been here in the UK for more than ten years. So. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Okay. 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 In life, in life in London, I imagine it's pretty hectic it, it, during normal times for you. It is very, very hectic. <laughs> There's a lot of people going on around, and obviously, um, as you know, the background of working in a traditional business, you have to go to the office from nine to five, right? Yeah. yeah. And then sometimes you have to even extend that, especially if you own your own business. Mm -hmm. You need to spend more hours than the usual. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So what attracted you to this digital business then? Why I, had you been looking for one for a while? Yes. I've been looking one for a while because I was thinking to myself, um, I was telling to myself that I've been posting a lot of photos in my uh, profile in my timeline on Facebook what I am getting from it I'm just telling them this is how well, I, <laughs> I've been to this place I've been to that place and this is what I'm but what I'm getting from it and then it's just like um, there is a need inside of me that I was um, looking for that I need to do something in this I need to make sure that this one is uh, giving me something back it's not only yeah. about showing so it's that's a why I, a two-way street yeah, yeah? Yeah, that's why I was saying why why I'm wasting my time into something that it's not giving me back. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So I assume you saw uh, an advertisement, didn't you? In that yes, time, I did. yeah. So what um, what what stood out to you about this? What, why what what made you click on the ad? What made you think? Oh, okay, I want to find out more about this business. Um, because on the ad that I saw, it says about the story of a nurse as well. My, my mentor is a nurse. Okay. And I could relate to that. I can oh, resonate. Wow, that's amazing, yeah. Yes, and I was thinking, if she can do it, why can't I? You know, and if there's an opportunity like this, why, what I am doing in my life? 
that's the question that I, you know, I, 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 was, I was wondering for myself and I was right. keep on myself. People are doing this online and why I'm not doing it? So if they have that opportunities, why I cannot get that opportunity? Absolutely. Absolutely. So did you, um, you obviously registered then, did you, and did you watch the workshop? Did you, did you join straight away and move forward or did you take some time to think about it? Um, I joined um, in a week's time because I have to set up my schedule as well. So when I have that time and when I registered, I watched the webinar straight away and then I contacted the person <laughs> my, who is my mentor yeah. right now. I contacted her and then I said, um, I need to talk to you about this because it seems quite interesting. So we just have, uh, have a couple of chats mm -hmm. and then I he told me that you just follow what you have, you know, the instructions in the webinar. Great and then that's, yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 That's really interesting. Is I think a lot of people want to reach out and have that conversation with people before they move forward. And I, I think, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, um, because, you know, being skeptical is not a bad thing, you know, within reason, you should, everyone should do the due diligence, shouldn't they, and make sure that it's right yeah. for them. So, and it sounds like you did exactly the same thing. So, okay. So you joined, so you've been in the business since about December, haven't you? So probably about six months, give or take. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And I imagine, you know, what you've learned over the past six months has just been incredible, but you know, going through the training itself. So from when you first joined and started working your way through the training, how did you find the training? Did you find it easy, quite hard and challenging or? Um, at first it was challenging because as I said, my traditional business is different from the online yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. But I said, um, I need to do this. How can I learn if I'm not going to push myself? But as you know, as uh, you go along, the training becomes easy because it's all about return demonstration of what you have to do. You just have to give time and you just have to put that into practice, what you have learned. Yeah, yeah. And, and the amazing thing of this training, it's, you know, it's always available for you. I don't have to call my mentor if I need something. I just go back to the training. I don't have to disturb her all the time because she has her own life as well. She has her own business. So this training gives me an, an independent, um, what do you call that? An independent um, decision making because I have to go back and relate to the training. I understand. Yeah, it is. And I, I'm never ceased to be amazed by the, the depth and the quality of the training because it is, it's 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 step by step it's click by click you know there's literally a video that shows you what to push here and what to press here and then you just follow it don't you it, it literally is step by step and that and it's always been refreshed it's always been kept up to date as well which i think is really really important isn't it you know so that's true yes okay what's been the so when you think about what you've had to learn over the past kind of six months what's been the biggest hardest thing you've had to learn and get to grips with and stuff like that for you my greatest hurdle probably would be, um, you know, to be really physically going live as well. <laughs> because yeah, that's it's, that. I hear that so often, so often. Yeah, <laughs> it's not easy to say your story, but now I'm I'm having that confidence to share who you know to sh to share who am I, what I am doing, and then why I'm doing this. It's this um, this business. It's not only about me. It's about the community. It's about the people who would like to embrace the transition from, you know, their current um, jobs that they have right now, especially on this unprecedented time. It's really quite difficult to see that people are in a furlough. But if they only know that there are some opportunities online, they need to take um, responsible or take that opportunity. Because right. at the end of the day, we are responsible for our lives. It's not someone else. Yeah, so true. that's what I believe in. We, we need to take responsible. We need to develop ourselves. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of opportunities to do that. And this is one of the best that I find so far. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I get it. I get it. And, you know, when, so what's been the biggest challenge for you then? So is, is it, I know it's been, it's been time, hasn't it, to a degree, I think you said, you know, but yes. is there, 
you know what about so from a, using laptops computers were you quite familiar with all that using facebook social media in general were you were you quite it savvy um i'm a little bit semi savvy when it comes to because i'm a facebook addict but okay. i just don't know how to make it profitable yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i understand, yeah. I understand. Um, those are my challenges okay. i really don't know how to connect into the system how to connect um, you know the technical yeah. side it's really quite difficult if yeah. especially if you did not study it but thank no, you right, absolutely. For yeah. i bet you do yeah. now don't you i bet you do now yes. <laughs> you know welcome to the world of running a digital business so you know that's a bit we teach you all that stuff don't we we teach people all that stuff so you you don't need any experience do you to do this that's that's the beauty of it you know that's true okay okay and that's really helpful so now that you've been in the business six months and obviously you understand a bit more about the business and how it all works you know for people that are kind of uh thinking about doing a digital business themselves you know why should they choose this business? What makes this business, do you think, different to everything else out there? Number one is the training. The training is readily available for you. Yeah. And you don't have to bug people because everything is in there. From zero to ten, or let's say from the starting to the end of the training, it's all there. Everything is ready for you. And all you just have to do is to plug in. And secondly, personal development. I developed from, from not knowing what to do really on Facebook, apart from just posting the pictures. I need to do something about it. And I think I that with the training that I received from our training side, it, it's really great because I've learned how to um, make that profitable for myself. Mm -hmm. And the other one, it's the community. I really love the community because the community itself is composed of more than 40,000 people. I think it's less than 47 or 48 right now. It's 40, 47 something now, yeah. Yeah, 47. So with that alone, you can see that there are lots of people who would like to become successful on their ends. So every one of us has our own story. And if you could only see, watch, and you know, and learn from these people, their journey, it's fascinating, it's really amazing. It is, no it is, I think the, the breadth of people that we have in our community is just incredible really, you know, we have people that are kind of 19, 20 years old, up to people that are, you know, around probably, I don't know, mid, late 60s, 70 years old, you know, and no matter what age you are, you can run a digital business. That's the beauty of it, isn't it? The fact that you've got such a, a broad range of people, all of which that are doing exceptionally well. In fact, some of our most successful people are actually uh, people that are 60 or heading for 70 years old. I mean, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm, staggered, I'm still staggered by it. Do you know what I mean? It, it just shows you that anybody can do it. And these people, I think, I think you know, uh, the, the lady I'm thinking of, she hadn't even used Facebook until she was about 65, 66 years old, you know, I mean, or some, you know, three or four years ago. I mean, it's ridiculous to think how much yes. she's done and how much she's achieved in such a short amount of time. It's inspirational. She is really yeah, inspirational. It is. it is. And you're right about the community because, you know, you make so many new friends in this business, you know, I mean, we're talking, we've not met, we, but, you know, we're going to be friends now, we're going to be talking, we'll be, you know, years to come, we'll be here talking, you know, and you just meet people, don't you, that you connect with, and, you know, I, I've met so many wonderful people uh, in this business over the past kind of almost a year for me. And it's incredible, really is. You know, that's what makes, I love the community. I love it. You know, I think it does. And, and one thing more to say, I think, is you can find, you know, if you ever need, if you've ever got a question or whatever, you can always post it and the lowest someone will come back with an answer, no matter what time of the day or night it is, because obviously it's global. So there's always somebody awake, isn't there? That's correct, yes. It's 24-7 services. It, is. it certainly <laughs> is. It certainly is. Yeah, absolutely. So, so if you were to like fast forward your life kind of 12 months to, I guess, this time next year, what, what's the goal? What, what, what's the dream? What are you working towards? I would like to become a coach in this business so that I can have more um, opportunity to share this. Yeah. You know, yeah. 
talking to the people especially within um, my side or my 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 own um, what they call that to the people that I've mentored with on the other side of my business I would like them to know that there's a potential online and this is true this is legit this is not a scam because when you said to people that um, I'm doing some online business it's just like people take it in a negative way some are very okay but some are not really that uh, what you call that they are skeptical but um, I would like to prove them wrong you know and show them that hey there's a lot of people who are enjoying their life right now why can't we join the team absolutely absolutely okay okay so this kind of all starts, doesn't it, by we've talked about this workshop that um, people need to watch, you know, and the reason yeah. why we put send people to workshop is because it's the best way to, to give them all the information that they need in mm. order to find out whether this business could be a fit for them or not, you know. Why do you think they should watch it? Well, first is, I'm sure, the reason why they're watching is they're looking for something. Hmm? They have that need inside of them that yep. they are looking for something else that they can do on top of their own jobs at the moment, mm -hmm. whatever they are doing at the moment. There is a need for that. There is a gap. There is a missing point. Now, what they have to do is just to take risks, sign up, and you know, um, register, put the name up, put the name down, their email addresses and then watch all the webinars the webinars are free and then you will discover a lot of wonderful stories of people how they have been into this business and the other effects or the positive effects of the business into their lives so that's all i can say with the webinars that we have yeah no i think you're right i think you know it's 90 minutes you know it's quite a long a workshop but in the grand scheme of things it's not you know, and it's but it's filled with great information about what the business is, you know, why you should even be thinking about starting a digital business. OK, you know, and potentially you get to meet um, different people on each workshop, don't you? That's actually running businesses. So, you know, they all come on there and provide their testimonials. And it's great. It's, it's just fantastic. Yeah. Isn't it? You know, so you get to see these real people, you know. Um, and what I will say to people is. You know, because I, I had a few people message me and say, oh, I'm sorry, I can't spend 90 minutes watching a workshop. Well, I'm like, fine, okay, see you later then, because running a digital business is not for you. If you can't spend 90 minutes to, to watch a workshop that could really change your life, then I'm not even interested in working with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I, I'm not afraid to be that brutal with people because it's just, they're, they're, I'm not wasting my time and I'm not wasting their time either. Do you know what I mean? That's the way you've got to look at it, isn't it? Yes, that's correct. And at the same time, if they really wanted to change into their lives, they needed to invest their time to find do. out something. Absolutely. 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 You know, and it's, um, and you're spot on, you know, it is a legitimate business. This, and it's, you know, we're out here putting our names and our faces to a business, you know, yeah. and we, we are actively looking for people to coach and mentor, aren't we? You know, we want to bring people into our team, you know, to do exactly what we're doing and to enjoy the success that we yes. and thousands of other people around the world are enjoying because of this business. Simple as, really is. Yes. <laughs> oh, really, no, thank you. Wendell, thank you, that's been amazing. Thank you so much for your time. What a star you are. Thank you very much, Ivan, and hopefully I will meet you whenever there is an event and it's concerning <laughs> about this business. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, so yeah. So to everybody watching, thank you for watching, and I will see you all on the next episode of Business Talk with Ivan. So until then, I'll see you later. Bye.